Hey, it's the Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we have a very special video for you guys. We've shown some of the Mystery Mini Series 1 Disney vinyl figures in a lot of different videos, and you guys have enjoyed them so much that today we've decided we're going to open up an entire case, that's 24 packs of the Series 1 Disney vinyl figure Mystery Minis. We're also going to open up a Kinder Surprise Egg and a Disney Princess Kinder Surprise Egg. And we're just going to jump right into it. Let's go ahead and open up the first Mystery Mini pack. And the rare ones that I'm really looking for is going to be that Jack, that Tinkerbell, and I don't think we've gotten very many of the stitches, so I'm trying to get a stitch as well. Any of those would be great if we could get one of those out of any of these boxes. Let's see what we get in the very first one. And it feels like a Maleficent. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay, it's gonna be Stitch. I was completely wrong on that one. So there's our first Stitch. He's a one in 18. Right there you can see him. So there's our first one. We'll go ahead and set him down. Now, if you guys are wondering about some of these other ones, these are like Funko Pop two packs that you can buy, the Winnie the Pooh and the Monsters University characters. This is not a Funko Pop character. It's just a kind of a, a neat little toy. Neat toy that I bought. And, uh, and then we have the larger Funko Pops back there. Let's go ahead and take our stitch down. Here's kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So the larger ones have a lot more like different shades and coloring to them. Like you can see he's got some pink ears and he doesn't have any type of different coloring right there. And his belly's a lot more kind of defined. So that's kind of a difference between the smaller ones and the bigger ones. Let's go ahead and open up the second one. It's really exciting when you can open this many in one video without having to stop and do other things. It'll be cool just to see what we get out of all of these packages. And we got a Tinkerbell. So here's our Tinkerbell. And she, I think she's a common one. Yeah, she's a 1 in 18. Right there she is. And here's kind of a comparison of those. That's the one that, this is the larger Funko Pop. It costs about 10 to $13, depending on where you buy it from. And I believe the Mystery Mini Packs are around about the same cost. We'll go ahead and set our Tinkerbells down. Let's move our good friend Tigger out of the way. We'll put him down right here. And let's open up the next one. And we got a Maleficent. Okay, this one's a new one. I haven't gotten this one. This is the 1 in 24. Right there you can see 1 in 24 chance. She's kind of holding her rod a little bit differently. Her head does move. All the characters' heads move, I believe, if I remember correctly, except for maybe Mike. I don't think Mike's head moves. We'll have to check him out when I get, hopefully get him. There is our Maleficent. I did get a chance to watch that movie, and it was a really good Disney movie. And set that down. We'll go ahead and open up the next vinyl pack. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. We're actually going to be doing the Series 2 packs once they release. I believe they release real soon. And we're going to do we're going to we're going to buy a whole case of those as well. So we got our first duplicate, I believe. Oh, no, wait. Is they the same? It's hard to tell. You know, when I first looked at her, I thought it was the same exact one that we just opened, but it is different. Even though her her pose is the same, everything else about her is the same except for the way that her eyes and eyebrows and lips are positioned. So that's going to be the only difference there. And they are both a 1 in 18 chance. The rare one's the 1 in 144, and she's the one that's sitting down. Next, let's take a little break from the Mystery Minis. Let's open this Disney Princess Kinder Surprise. I've opened a couple of these so far. Go ahead and get this opened up. And let's see what we get in our capsule here. Looks like we got a Snow White. Snap her together. Hopefully the right way. And uh, let's put the front piece on. So there is our character. 
And these actually, they snap together and they look really nice once they're snapped together. You don't see a lot of, I mean, you can see the line, but from looking at her on the front, you can't really see where she was snapped together. So that's kind of neat. Set her down and just a quick look at what's inside of here. Here's the little diagram. And these are gonna be some of the other characters that you can collect. Let's go ahead and take down one of my favorite Funko Pop characters, our Mickey Mouse Sorcerer right there. Let's we'll set him in front of Tinkerbell. And let's go ahead and open up the next Mystery Mini. Now the Series 2 that's gonna release soon, I think that it has Beauty and the Beast. I know it's got a lot of the Lion King characters, which I'm really excited about because the Lion King movie is probably my favorite Disney movie. So I'm happy that they're gonna release those. Looks like we got another stitch and we got our first duplicate. This one's definitely the exact same. It's not like the Tinkerbell where it's got a different expression. Let's go ahead and grab another one. And we're just gonna fly right through these things. Still haven't gotten a Jack Skellington yet. We didn't get a lot of the Jack Skellingtons in the first case that we bought either. And we got a Sully. All right, nice. We got a new one. This is going to be a lot different than the the first one. I think we only got one Sully out of the whole first case. So that's kind of cool that we got him. And then right here's a comparison. This is the one that comes in the two-pack with Mike. And there you can kind of see the differences there. So very cool. We'll go ahead and set both of those back here. Let's go ahead and take our poo down. Knock over Stitch in the process. And uh, wow, he just doesn't want to stay up. All right, let's go ahead and get the next one opened. I'm going to have such a mess to clean up when this video is done. But <laughs> that's okay. And almost punched Tinkerbell in the mouth. We got a Mickey Mouse. So here is our Mickey. Here's kind of our comparison of the Sorcerer Mickey. I really like, I love the way that he's posed right there with his fingers like that. That's just, that's such a cool collectible. In fact, if I was gonna recommend buying any of the larger Funko Pops, that's the one that I would get. And he's probably my favorite one that I've opened. So let's go ahead and set our giant mic down. And let's see what we get off to the side here. We still have another Kinder Surprise Egg to open. We might do that one next. Knock over our poo. We're going to have to rearrange some stuff, get some more room here. We got another Sully, and this is going to be the same one. So we got another duplicate, and he is a 1 in 36. So he's actually, I just now realized all of the Sullys are a little bit harder to get than the other characters. That one's a 1 in 144. That one's a 1 in 36. And then that went off to the sides of 1 in 48. And the Mickey Mouse that we just got that I didn't look at, he's a, uh, let's see, is he the really rare one? Okay, no, he's the 2 in 24, so he's not the rare one. We're still looking for the rare Mickey Mouse. There's our other Sully. We'll go ahead and set him down next to that one. So here's our other Kinder Surprise Egg. We've done a lot of the Kinder Surprise Eggs on the channel. Especially the ones out of this specific type of case and it looks like we got a race car or no This is actually going to be a I guess a, a buggy of some sort. Let's see what the piece of paper shows I haven't actually gotten this one. So this is gonna be I think we did get the red one at some point, but I have not gotten the blue one and As you see right there all you do is just push down and then flick it and then it should go zooming across the, the table so here's our little car. We're gonna put our finger right there. All right, so the harder you push down, I'm sure the faster it's gonna go. <laughs> of course, I don't have a huge table to work with here. Let's try to shoot it. Let's shoot it towards Mickey, see? Let's knock over our Tinkerbell. There we go. Let's knock over another Tinkerbell. <laughs> All right, so there's our little car. Grab this one off to the side. Still holding out hope we're gonna get that Jack. I'm so confident that we're gonna get that Jack Skellington. And we got the super rare Stitch. So this is the one that's a one in 72. Right there you can see him. 
Very cool. That's our first rare one for this video. Did not get that one out of the first case, so that's exciting. His head does move. We'll go ahead and set him down right here, right there in the front. Let's go ahead and open the next mystery mini box. This one feels kind of little. All right, we got another Mickey Mouse. And is it going to be the same one? No, this is going to be the other one. Let's see, that one is a 1 in 72, so we got two rares in a row. Here's a look at our two Mickey Mouses. So how awesome is that? We got two rare characters back to back. So that's really exciting that we actually got some new ones. Let's see what's going to be in this one. This one also feels kind of small. And we got another Mickey Mouse. It'd be funny if this was the other one. I think, is this one going to be the same one? Let's see if it's the same one. Yeah, he's going to be the exact same. So we got two of those. That's the more common one. Set him right back here. We'll set the other one back there with him. And what I'm going to do at the end of this video, the very end, I'm going to show you guys all of the Disney Mystery Mini characters that I have. I'm going to put them all on the table and you'll get to see every one that I've gotten out of the two cases that we've opened. So that'll be pretty cool. Let's see what we got. So we got a mic. It's our first mic for this video, I think. And this is the more common one, I believe. So yeah, he's going to be a 1 in 24. There's actually a 1 in 18. That one's a little bit easier to get, but this one's a 1 in 24. There's kind of a side-by-side -side look. All right, we'll set that down back in the back. We'll put him right here in the front. And here's our other mic, actually, just to give you guys a quick look. This one is the one that came out of the two-pack. It's made by the same company, but they are different. His head's definitely shaped a lot different in the one that's, that comes in the two-pack. Go ahead and open the next one. And we got a Tinkerbell, and it's going to be one of the same ones that we got. So there's going to be a duplicate. We'll just go ahead and toss her right back in the back. Let's get to the next one. Knock over our Ariel back there. Unfortunately, Ariel's not a part of the Series 1. And I don't think she's in Series 2, but I can't say for certain. I, I took a quick glance at what was in series two and I saw the Lion King and I was like all right well I'm definitely getting that once I saw the Lion King was in there all right so we got a Jack and I think this one's gonna be yeah this one's a common one it's a 1 in 18 there's our 1 in 18 Jack Skellington go ahead and set him down right here in front of Tinkerbell let's open up the next one now if you guys hit the like button and you really enjoy this video I will strongly consider opening up a case of something else. I don't know what yet. They make a lot of different types of mystery minis. They, we've been doing some of the DC Universe, we've done some of the Marvel ones, and we're knocking stuff over again. But if you guys want to see another case, be sure and let us know, and we'll think about it. And we got our duplicate, another Jack duplicate, so we'll go ahead and set him down. I think I got another one of those somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and open the next one. It's always fun watching somebody else open a case because you can, you can kind of get an idea of how many duplicates you would get if you bought a whole case of them. Of course, you can also just buy these individually off eBay where somebody else has already opened them up. And we got a poo. So here is our poo. And I, I don't think he's rare. I think he's one of the common ones. Yeah, he's a 1 in 18. There's our very happy Pooh Bear. He's probably the cutest looking character out of the whole series, in my opinion anyways. We'll set him right here next to Jack. All right, so now that we got a little organized, let's go ahead and start opening up some more of these. We've got about seven or eight left, I think, if I'm counting quickly correctly. And we got another Pooh, and this is gonna be one of 
the more harder ones to get if I remember correctly. I had to do kind of a double take right here because I'm sitting here looking at this poo and if you look right here, that's the one in 18, but it shows I'm holding a little pot of honey, but for some reason this one does not have the pot of honey. And in fact, I have another one that we got out of the series one and I just realized he does not have the pot of honey either. So it's kind of strange that it shows it in the picture, but he's not holding it. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Go ahead and set him down. Let's go ahead and open the next one. For some reason, I was thinking that one was a rare one, but it's not. I got it confused with the one that's kind of laughing, holding its belly. That's the rare one. Let's see what we get in here. We got another poo. We're on a poo roll. And, uh... So we got the same exact one. Set that one down. And again, all of these are coming out of the same sealed case. Now when I started the video off, the case was already opened up, but these all came from the same factory sealed case. And we got a Maleficent here with another broken rod, which is really, that's so funny because when I was taking one out of the package, I had broken one of the rods and I had to super glue it back together. But this one was broken unless I snapped it when I was taking it out, it hasn't fully broke off. But I have, I think two or three of these. One of them does not have a broken rod though. So that one's a one in 72. It's a super rare one according to that box. But yet, I have several of these. Here's the other one. This, let's see, yeah, that's the one I glued. So, I have one around here somewhere that did not break. There you go, there's two of the super rare Maleficence. We'll set both of them back there. This one's also another one. It has the same type of pose, but it's got just a meaner look on her face, I guess. And I knocked over our Mickey. Let me set him back up, all right. Let's see what we get in the next one. And we got another Jack, and we got the smiley face one, nice. So this is gonna be a new one. It's not the super rare one, but that one's a one in 18. Here's kind of a side-by-side -side look. So we got both of the common ones, but we are still hunting for that super rare one. We're not getting that many jacks, even in this case. Let's go ahead and open this up. When I bought the first case, I was kind of hoping that I'd get one of each since there's 24 to collect and there's 24 boxes. And we got, dropped them on the floor, but we got that same exact jack again. So we got two of those in a row. And those boxes, I think they were right next to each other. I don't know if that matters or not. But even when we got those poos, we got those, those poos in a row too, kind of. So if you see a display of these, I don't know, you might want to grab one on the back corner on the top and then one on the bottom corner on the other side. You might get two different characters. We've got a Sully here. And is this the rare one? That is the super rare one. That's the one in 144. So, we have gotten three of the super rare characters out of this one case. There's a side-by-side -side look at our Sully. That is really cool that we got three rare ones. I mean, you, the chances of getting it is a one out of 144. There's 24 packs in here, but yet we got three rare ones. That's some pretty good odds. And I'm probably not gonna buy another case of these. So to complete the entire set, I guess I'm only gonna have to buy one or two. Because I think that we've gotten most of them. I'm gonna have to take another look. Here's gonna be another mic. And, all right, so is this gonna be different? Let's see, this is the smiley face one in 18. And it is going to be slightly different. So there's those two. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, the ones that we're missing is that one in 144 Tinkerbell, 
we're missing the 1 in 72 Mike, and we're missing that 1 in 144 Jack Skellington. I think I have all the rest. And we are down to the final package. This is number 24 right here. Got my fingers crossed it's going to be that rare Jack, but I have a feeling it's not going to be. <laughs> so let's see what we get. It's always disappointing when you get a duplicate on the final one. And we got a poo. And that's a common one. So I got that one already at some point. That's a 1 in 18. And I don't know if we got them in this video. Yeah, we did. So we got two of those out of that same case. So for the sets of characters that we got, here's going to be the first one. This is all three of the Sullys. That one on the far left, that one's probably my favorite out of those three. We got all three of the Mickey Mouses. There's all three right there. And the one, my favorite out of the group is going to be that one right there with his eyes shut pointing at something. That's probably going to be my favorite out of those three. And set those back. We got all three of the Poos, and I think Poo was probably the character that we got the most of. In fact, I think I have another two or three laying around here somewhere, but uh, yeah, he was the easiest one to get out of those boxes. We'll go ahead and set him back, and then we got all three of the Maleficents. And I'm probably pronouncing that incorrect, but that's okay. Here's all three of these. Those look really cool. That that's one of the cooler characters in this series for sure. They just there's so much more detail and the colors on these pop so much. Like everything about her just really stands out. The Tinkerbell is probably the one character that I'm not a big fan of in this series, and a lot of the reason for that is because she's top heavy and when you try to stand her up, she just she doesn't want to stand up very easily. So that's part of the reason why, and I don't know, to me, she's just kind of plain looking. She's real ordinary with the way that they have her designed. Tinkerbell is a really cool character. I think they could have done something a little bit more with that one. And then, of course, we got two of the Jacks here. We're still missing the rare one. There's those two. Between those two, the one with his mouth open, smiling over here on the right side, that's going to be my favorite between those two. And then we got the mics. This is probably also my second least favorite because this one's just real simple as well. Not a lot going on with this one. It's pretty plain looking. I really like Mike as a character, but again, that one just seems like they could have done something a little more with that one. Now, Stitch is really cool. I like how they did the stitches. Their expressions are real different and their poses. You know, these two have the same pose on the right. But overall, I think that was a really cool series of, of characters right there. And I think the rare one where he's sitting down with that kind of <laughs> weird expression on his face, that one's going to be my favorite out of the three. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of the other types of mystery minis or the series two mystery minis that's going to be releasing soon, be sure to hit the like button, comment. Also, let us know what was your favorite character out of this set. Let us know which one you like the most, and we'll try to do more of those as well. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.